Today we are so excited to have Mr. Leo's puppet show here, and Mr. Leo is going to come up and tell you a little bit about what we're doing today. Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Leo, and we have two special puppet show today. And I have a question for you. Are you ready for the puppet show? Thank you for the invitation, my friends. Okay, here we go. Girls and boys, grandfathers and grandmothers, everybody get ready. Mr. Leo Puppet Show is about to begin. Hello, Mr. Leo Puppet Show and Entertainment. Are you ready for the puppet show? Are you ready for the puppet show? Are you ready for the puppet show? Are you ready? I can hear you. Are you ready for the puppet show? Mr. Leo Puppet Show and Entertainment. Mr. Leo Puppet Show and Entertainment. Hello, are you ready for the puppet show? Yeah. Yes, me too. Okay, see you later. Alligator. My name is Alice, and I want to introduce you to my dear friend, Crispin Blaze, the Green Dragon. Have you seen a dragon before? Raise your hand if you have seen a dragon before. As you may know, dragons breathe fire, and sometimes they can be scary. But Crispin, well, he can't really breathe fire. He's just an amazing and fun creature. You will see. Let's call him so that you can meet him. On the count of three, let's say, Crispin, Crispin. One, two, three. Crispin, Crispin. Oh, hi there. I am Crispin Blaze. You might think that all dragons breathe fire, but that is not my case. I am a different and unique dragon. And when I open my mouth, other fun and amazing things come out. Do you want to see what things come out of my mouth when I open it? It's so cool. I can't wait to show you. In order to show you what I can do, we will have to play a game. I will describe something and you will have to guess the name of that something, all right? Great, so let's start. Tell me the name of something blue. Liquid, where fish live and we can find delightful swimming creatures. What? What? Water. Yes, water. Also, the sea, the ocean, or lakes. Look what I can do when I think about water. Under the sea, under the sea, 
Darling, it's better down where it's wet and take it from me. Up on the shore, they work on day. Out in the sun, they slave away. Who are the deporting? What are you floating under the sea? <laughs> Do you want to see all the other cool things that I can breathe? Yeah. Awesome! Well, a, a fruit that is hot and can be green, yellow, or red. Kids don't usually eat this, only adults. <laughs> Looks like a vegetable, but it's actually a fruit. If you say the right word, I will show you what else I can do. It has two names. One starts with J, and the other starts with P. Right! Jalapenos or chili peppers. Well, okay, look! Amazing, right? Do you want to see another trick? Perfect, but you will have to help me. Believe it or not, I can sing and dance. Have you seen a singing or dancing dragon? <laughs> I am the only one. Do you want to sing and dance with me? Yeah. Okay, then let's stand up, clap, and, and dance together. <laughs> Also very smart and that you know the name of all the shapes and can even count to a hundred. I have never seen a dragon that can do that. Is that true? It's true, Alice. I can name all the shapes and even the most difficult ones. Let's see if I can remember their names though because I, I have not studied them in a while. Kids, can you help me name in the shapes when they appear? If you help me, I will show you what else can come out of my mouth when I open it. R ready? Okay, here we go. Rectangle. Oval. Easy. Circle. Mm, I don't know this one. Do you know this one, kids? Pentagon! Yes, it's a pentagon because it has five sides. Look! Wow, you guys are very smart. It seems like you can do many things, Crispin. Show us, what else can you do? I am curious now. I can make the sounds of almost all animals. Let's see if these children know their sounds as well. Kids, do you know what the duck says? Quack, quack. Correct, quack, quack. And how about the cats? That is correct. Do you know what does the sheep say? Ba, ba, black sheep. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the day, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Do you know what 
does the shark say? <laughs> I don't know what they say, but when I think about water, this happens. Crispin, there is no need for you to breathe fire. You know how to do so many other things. You are the most interesting dragon I have ever met. And the happiest one. Bye-bye, kids. my friend are you ready for the next one yeah. yeah one two and three is Tommy and I am looking for my friend Maria. She told me we were going to meet here to play but I can't find her. I wonder where she is. Have you seen her around? She is a little girl, short like me, but with ponytails. Are you sure you have not seen her around here? Hmm, so strange. She must be lost. Perhaps if we call her name, she can listen to us and find us. Let's see, can you help me call in her? To the count of three. One, two, three. Maria! Maria! Kids, well, I almost forgot to tell you that Maria gets scared very easily. So don't be surprised if she gets really scared with very simple things. Tommy! Tommy! Oh, here you are! Oh, I am so scared! I'm very scared, Tommy! I feel so scared that I am dizzy, and I think I am going to faint! Oh, oh no! I, I think she's passed out, kids! I need you all to scream loud at the same time to wake Maria up. On the count of three, let's all scream. One, two, three. Ah! Wake up, Maria! Ah! Where is it? Where is it? Ah. Ah. Oh, she's passed out again. Okay, on the count of three, scream louder. One, two, and three. Ah! Maria, it's me, your friend, Tommy. Uh, are you okay? Oh, hi. Uh, Tommy, where were you? I was here, Maria, waiting for you. M Maria, take a deep breath. <sighs> That's it. N now relax. Maria... You look very scared today. What is happening? What happens, Tommy, is that when I was on my way here, I was walking through the park. Oh, yes, I was walking and then... Oh, something scared me, Tommy. It scared me really bad. What did scare you? It was a... A, a, a what? A thunder? Uh, no, a, a... A dog? A, a, a monster! Um, one moment. Kids, have you seen a monster around here? No? no? I haven't seen him either, Maria. I think you were daydreaming 
Or perhaps you had a nightmare or you saw a horror movie last night and you are now scared. I saw one, Tommy. I saw a monster. I am sure. Well, Maria, let's catch this then. If he is in this park, we will have to catch him before he scares more children. But we are going to need help from someone else to get the job done. Who can help us, Tommy? Spider-Man, Spider-Man Does whatever a spider can Spins a web any size Catches thieves just like flies Look out! Here comes a Spider-Man Is he strong? Listen, but He's got radioactive blood Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead Hey there! I don't think Spider-Man will be able to help us, Maria. I think I will just go ahead and catch the monster myself. Tommy, no! That is a really bad idea. I can't help you do that. It's okay, Maria. You don't have to help me. Just go to your home and stay there, and I will call you once I am done, okay? I will ask these kids to help me. They are very brave and smart. Just go to your house and wait there for my call, okay? Well, kids. Now that Maria is gone, I need to ask you this question. Can you help me get this monster? Perfect. Thanks. D do you think it's big? I don't think he is big. Okay, here is what we're going to do. I'm going to hide here. And if you see a monster anywhere, scream very loudly, okay? Remember, scream very loudly as soon as you see him. Okay? See you in a bit, kids. I'm going to hide. Did you see him around here? Where? There? If you see him, you have to shout very loudly so I can catch him right away. <laughs> of course. They are so smart. But guess what, Maria? What, Tommy? When I was fighting with him, his costume fell off. His what? His costume, Maria. It wasn't a monster. Ow! Well, it was only your cousin Sam with a monster costume who wanted to scare you. Oh, really? Uh, well, I am so disappointed at him. He really scared me. Yes, Maria. That monster was your cousin joking around. Listen, I'm going to ask a question to everyone here because I'm sure they know the answer to this question. Let's see. Kids, do you think monsters exist? Well, I didn't hear anything. Kids, answer, please. Do monsters exist? No. No, of course they don't. You didn't know that, Maria? I didn't know that, but now I realize it. That they don't exist. No, of course they don't exist, Maria. Ah, uh, then now I won't be afraid of anything anymore. Exactly, Maria. You don't have to be afraid anymore. Look at these kids. 
They were not scared for a minute. I hope you learned the lesson, Maria. Yes, I learned the lesson. Well, now, uh, let's go for a chocolate ice cream. Whoever gets first to that house wins the larger ice cream. I'm going this way. And I'm going that way. Bye-bye, everybody. so much. I'm so happy to be here today. Okay, my friend, you know, see you soon and take care. Wash your hands. Oh, bye-bye. See you soon. Remember, my name is Max. We are Mr. Leo Puppet Show on Entertainment. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>